Well, if it's the 4th of July and you're in Maryland, that probably means you'll have a plate of Chesapeake Bay crabs and oysters in front of you at some point. Right? So to make sure that tradition continues, we need to keep our bay healthy. A big part of that is our oyster population, of course. And ABC2 News' Don Harrison was out on the bay to see who's taking care of our most prized possessions. A couple of weeks ago, the Coastal Conservation Association with other groups dropped artificial reef balls in the bay off Tillman Island. These reef balls had spat on them. Spat are baby oysters. The idea is for the spat to grow up and become adult oysters and for the concrete reef balls to become a viable reef formation in the bay. But they also provide a whole lot of habitat for things we like. Dr. Keith Johnson with Stevenson University is talking about rockfish, crabs, and other marine life that make our bay so special. All right, we got ten and a half. Ten and a half. Dr. Johnson was out taking measurements of the water and to take a look at the reef balls that were put down recently with other concerned stewards of the bay. See the circles kind of off to the side there? That's the reef balls on the sonar that were put down recently. And the only way to get a good look at them is to go down and see. So I went in the water with them to get a look at those artificial habitats. We found the new reefs and some older ones put in a year ago. You can see the difference of the two here side by side. And there was some pretty substantial oysters on there. I, I would say a good, you know, three, three inches maybe. So they're growing really, really well there. And uh, I saw a few crabs and things running around down there. So it, it's providing that habitat that we want it to. So the oysters stay attached to the reef balls. And after three or four years, they grow up to about this size. That's when they really go to work cleaning up our bay. An adult oyster um, of the size you saw before can filter six gallons of water per hour, which is huge when you think about oyster reefs having thousands and ten thousands of oysters. Ends up being a really big deal. See how marked that file? Brad King owns Kin Island Scuba. Like many that rely on a clean bay professionally, he has other reasons as well. The Chesapeake Bay uh, is has been a major part of, of uh, my life, and my, my wife, and our family. Uh, slightly clearer water, that would be better for people, better for fish, pretty much better for everything. On the Chesapeake Bay, Don Harrison, ABC2 News.